Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It, Paint It. It's just going to be a quick unboxing video. It's arrived, it's here finally. This is the Tiny Epic Zombies game. Back this on Kickstarter. It's not even, actually, it's not that long ago, right? This arrived remarkably quick. I was only on holiday, so May, something like that. Um, I got the Deluxe Edition. Is that just everyone on Kickstarter? Can't remember. The uh, box is pretty standard if you're used to these Tiny Epic games. It's the same size as all of the ones I've got. Uh, lists everything you get, but I'll quickly whiz through it. This is um, what's it? It's single player. This is solo. That's what uh, you know. I don't play many solo games, but I thought I would give this one a whirl. This is quite cool. I'm filming this on my my phone, and every time it clocks this, it's like, do you want to open this web page? So thanks for that, guys. So uh, yeah, this tiny epic zombies by Gaming Games. Hopefully, you've got this on Kickstarter. If you haven't. Oh, somebody mentioned that before. The this is, and and it disappointed just hearing about it. The deluxe edition sticker is actually on the the cellophane, so that's a little bit disappointing to me. But you know, it is what it is. Nice, um, shiny, shiny bit on the title. The rest is matte. This is shiny. All, all the all the logos and stuff are shiny. The rest is matte. Decent artwork. You know, zombies, hero. What more do you want? Let's have a peep in the box. And I remember this from the last. Oh, ooh, let's have a look at that. Oh, wow, that's nice, right? I'm pretty sure I said that last time I saw the uh, inside box art. And also, it's really thick. <laughs> I still like thick boxes. Oh, my God, can you hear all the uh, models going flying just off camera there? Rules, fairly thick, actually. For Well, I mean, that's one of the things. These are big games in small packaging, right? Like, this is a this is a full-sized style of game. It just takes up less space. So that's fairly substantial rules, 19 pages of rules in that little book there. Um, well, I'm not going to know what anything is though, but I'm guessing this is like the Kickstarter exclusives. There's a little doggy model. So you get, oh, that's really cool, right? I forgot, I've, as always, forgotten what you're going to get and I can't remember what's Kickstarter exclusive, but little dog meeple. And then we've got a golf club and that looks like the bazooka. And you've got the usual card, some item cards, a hero player card, right? Oh, several. Shall I have a quick have a, have a quick goosey gander in here? May as well have a look. I'll service service dog? Companion. So he's a little companion. But what have you got? You've got the lawyer. And he turns into the lawyer zombie. Nice. Burglar. Burglar zombie. So they just flick into the zombies. Farmer. Oh, I'm a zombie. And trucker. How unusual. Zombie trucker. Trucker zombie. So They've got to be the Kickstarter exclusives, haven't they? Right, let's have a look. Bag of tokens, you know, usual wooden chits. Pre-popped, um, right, for you. That's nice. And bagged, actually. Just thinking about that. These are bags in bags as well. I think this is just, like, neatly packaged to begin with, so... Here are the item meeples, I meeples, it meeples. I find it hard to pronounce. It's weird, right? Still, I guess it's item meeples, but shouldn't it have two M's in it then? Uh, so you get a pink one, orange one, gray one, necromancer cloak, and a green one. They're nice colors. And then let's have a look at the items. So this is obviously, you know, the channel. This is just a prelude. I will most likely be painting those. Little sword, cool little... Oh my God, look how small they are. Shotgun, uh, Uzi, MP5, crowbar, some sort of automatic sniper rifle, magnum, axe, machete, chainsaw. Is that a nail bat or just a bat? Can't tell, it looks like barbed wire. Looks like Lucille, chainsaw as I mentioned, Daryl's crossbow, so a bunch of weapons if you don't know if you're not familiar with the series these are item meeples and they get to hold the um the items in this case a bunch of bunch of weapons like so and then what else do we have zombie events all the the cards just a, quite a lot of cards which cards oh a die custom die no idea what any of the symbols mean zombie zombie Heal, double heal, splat, splat. That's what I'd expect. And then these are, these are the game tiles, aren't they? So you build out, if you're unfamiliar with the game, you're going to build out a mall, I think it is, or something like that. And then some extra hero cards are in the back, but a bunch more cards. Let's have a look at the last remaining meeples because I think that's the most exciting bit. 
in this game. So you get some are these wooden? Yeah, these are a bit tacky. Look at that. Look at that finish. It might smooth out. I can't quite tell. My... Yeah, I think. Yeah, look, it's coming off. I think it's going to smooth up out. But none of them, all four of them, are like that. It's not a very good finish, is it? But it looks like. No, it's a... it's okay. The excess is coming off. Just a little bit of work needed on those four. Then, ooh, nearly lost one. You've got just some square cubes and. Spoke too fast. Teeny tiny meeples. Can't remember what they're for, but teeny meeples. You get a bunch of these are like dogs. Uh zombies, wooden zombies. Again, the finish. It's a little bit disappointing, but it is coming off without losing any of the bit that matters. So there is that as far as I can tell, at least. So you get a bunch of those. You get some bullet tokens. Can't remember what they're for either. But in this one. I think this was Kickstarter exclusive, right? You get two vehicles. You get a police car and a motorcycle for your little meeples. There's even space for his weapons. Excellent. They made space for the weapons and the little meeples. You can go on the little vehicles. It's very cool, isn't it, for a, a, a meeple-based game. I like how well that one's stuck in, but this one's like, nah, I'm loose. Don't pick me up sideways, guys. He, he should not have a license. Well, that's it, guys. That's everything. Uh, as I mentioned, I've painted some previously of the other sets. They're pretty cool to paint, and it and it makes the game like for how small the game is and how like simple they make it with little meeples. Adding the items is a massive upgrade to a meeple-based game, in my opinion. I really like what they've done, and then adding paint to it, you know, it doesn't take long. So, just while we're talking about these items, I do think that they're, they're like easy to paint, but quite frustrating. They, they are real. I mean, you've got to sort of hold it like this. So the difficulty is finding something to hold it, painting it. it takes it takes a while because you've got to wait for it to dry and it's kind of hard to put down. If anyone's got any tips on how to hold these, it'd be nice if you could sort of have them all held with something and paint them all quite quickly. Any tips, let me know in the comments below. But And let me know if you'd like to see some of these painted. I, I do enjoy doing them as frustrating as it is. They are still quite easy. They're not big, are they? And they're not overly complex. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Let me know any tips on holding them to paint. Let me know if you've got this game. Um, I've, I was like, did I just get Epic Quest out? But no, it's just got advertisement for all the others. Oh, yeah, this is their big, big uh, miniatures game. I'll check that out. Some I don't have. So I've got Quest. I've got Defenders and I've got this one. This is the most exciting to me. I will look forward to playing this. Let me know if you'd like to see any gameplay videos as well. It's not something I do very often, but this is a solo game and it doesn't take up much space, so I might be able to do it. Thank you all very much for watching.